you sir so much good morning everyone and uh, i'll explain you the pradhan mantri shram yogi mandan pension yojana which is also known as pmsmym scheme was announced on feb 2019 and was launched on 15th feb 2019 by the interim finance shri piyush goel on presenting the interim budgets on 2019 20 in parliament and announced a mega pension scheme which was actually which i said was for the unorganized sectors plans such as lic policy like epfo that is epfo connects as employment uh, provident fund organization e esic runs as employee state insurance corporations which also runs under the schemes so this scheme is meant for old age protection and social huh? security so this uh, actually as per the sir the scheme has been raised by an unorganized worker who are actually mostly engaged as home based worker the street vendors which you normally meet the workers which are out who are staying outside your door and who doesn't have a daily who collect only daily wages they doesn't have the proper uh, wages which they collect every which we have a salary but they doesn't have they collect the daily wages that is a mid day meal worker a head labor a brick worker co a cobblers rag pickers domestic workers so as the as a maha seva we have already take a initiative for the domestic uh, to help the domestic people if you come across to any of the peoples like this please as i have informed you you inform the same to them as well so i'll go ahead the rickshaw pullers land laborers and more on so bd workers they come in this occupation and this schemes are meant for them so if we'll go ahead then we'll come to know more about it there are approximately 42 crores such on unorganized worker in this country yes they are actually 42 crores unorganized uh, workers in which if you will see this scheme is meant for the youth as india is 60% meant for the youth uh, as india is known as a youth country which 60% are the youth so this uh, scheme is only meant for the age of 18 to 40 years of age so it is like it is a voluntary and contributing pension scheme under which the subscriber would uh, receive a minimum assurance pension of rupees 3000 per month and 36000 per year after attending the age of 60 years and if the subscriber dies the spouse of the beneficiary shall be entitled to receive 50% of the pension as family pe uh, pension family pension is applicable only to the spouse see if you will see many of the times once a person is uh, retired he is almost very much running all his life so once he is retired even if we are sitting here in the lockdown we we will only take a rest of one or two days after this we all came back to the work so if the person of 60 years he is not that much great that he wants to be dependent on their sons or kids so this will help them in a future to at least get 3000 per month in which they will have a normal basic monthly uh, expenses which they can do and that would be it would be independent they won't be dependent on their son or a daughter that if they will give then only it will be provided so on this maturity of the scheme an individual will be entitled to obtain a monthly pension of rupees 3000 the pension amount helps pension holder and the aid of the financial requirement so isme kya hota hai ki 3000 per month aapko pension milta hai when aap ek 60 years mein pahunch jate ho uske baad so aap ek baar retire ho jate ho to aapko ek yahan se pension milte jata hai 3000 per month aapke account mein aate jata hai agar in future aap agar आपकी डेथ हो गई गॉड फॉर बेट तो आपका ये जो पेंशन है वो आपकी स्पाउस ही सिर्फ ले सकती है आपके चिल्ड्रंस के हायर्स वो कोई नहीं ले सकता ये पेंशन और वंस द मेचोरिटी ऑफ अ पेंशन एन इंडिविजुअल बी एंटाइटल टू ऑब्टेन अ मंथली पेंशन मतलब जैसे 18 टू 16 सिक्सटी इयर्स पे करोगे तो आपको थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज आपके अकाउंट में ऑलमोस्ट डेबिट होते जाएगा द स्कीम इज अ ट्रिब्यूट टू द वर्कर इन अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर हु कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट अराउंड फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ द नेशनल ग्रोस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट सो so, इसके वजह से ये पीएम मोदी ने ये स्कीम निकाला था बिकॉज 50% परसेंट ऑफ द नेशनल ग्रोस डोमेस्टिक प्रोडक्ट ये अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर से आता है द एप्लीकेंट बिटवीन द एज ऑफ एटीन टू फोर्टी ईयर्स विल हैव टू मेक अ मंथली कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन रैगिंग बिटवीन रुपीज फिफ्टी फाइव टू रुपीज टू हंड्रेड पर मंथ टिल दे अटेंड द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी दिस मीन्स दैट इफ अ चाइल्ड हु इज नाउ अडल्ट हु इज अंडर एज ऑफ एटीन ही हैव टू पे अ मंथ ऑफ ऑफ अ a pocket money of rupees 55 55 rupees to the contribution amount and if he is of 29 age then he have to pay 100 rupees the chart is coming behind chart piche aa raha hai to aapko ek brief idea mil jayega 
अगर वो बंदा चालीस साल का हो गया पर्सन हिज ओ हर इज अ फोर्टी इयर्स ऑफ एज तो उसको टू हंड्रेड रुपीज पर मंथ देना पड़ता है आई डोंट थिंक सो दिस मनी इज वेरी मच दैट दैट इट पिंच योर पॉकेट सो इट इज अवॉर्डेबल बाई एवरी ईच एंड एवरी पर्सन आउट दे जो इवन हु आर वर्किंग इन अनसेक्टर प्रोडक्ट्स वंस द एप्लीकेंट अटेंड द एज ऑफ सिक्सटी ही शैल क्लेम द पेंशन अमाउंट Every month a fixed pension amount get deposited in the pension account of the respective individual. जैसे मैंने आपको बोला अगर मैं 18 से 60 साल 18 से 60 साल तक मैं अगर पैसा दे रही हूँ उस अकाउंट में तो 60 साल के बाद मेरे अकाउंट में तीन हजार रुपए आते ही जाएगा कनेक्टिवली ये सिर्फ 40 तक है तो अगर 40 साल से 60 ईयर्स तक मैं भरूंगी तो मुझे 60 ईयर्स के बाद मेरा थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज मेरे अकाउंट में आता जाएगा सो आई डोंट हैव टू बी डिपेंडेंट ऑन समवन एल्स दैट इफ आई एम नॉट वर्किंग राइट नाउ तो मेरा क्या होगा फ्यूचर टिल द टाइम आई एम अलाइव देर इज एवरीथिंग हैव एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया सो दिस इज वन ऑफ दोज एज वेल सो द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फॉर फर्स्ट इज फॉर अनऑर्गेनाइज वर्कर द पर्सन शुड बी अनऑर्गेनाइज वर्कर ओनली मतलब वो डेली टू डेली जो जाता है वो दस बीस तीस पचास रुपए जो लाता है उनका फिक्स्ड अमाउंट नहीं होना चाहिए इट शुड बी डेली वेजेस अमाउंट ओनली तो ही जाके वो अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स में वो काउंट होते हैं तभी जाके उनको ये फर्स्ट एलिजिबिलिटी होता है सेकेंड इट शुड बी एंट्री डेट बिटवीन इट शुड बी फ्रॉम एटीन टू फोर्टी ईयर्स अगर इफ द पर्सन इज फ्रॉम एटीन टू फोर्टी ईयर्स देन ओनली ही कम्स इन दिस क्राइटेरिया इफ द पर्सन इज ऑफ फोर्टी वन ईयर फोर्टी वन देन ऑफकोर्स ही इज नॉट एलिजिबल टू कम इन दिस क्राइटेरिया मंथली इनकम शुड बी फिफ्टी थाउजेंड रुपीज और बिलो ऑफकोर्स इट इज जैसे मैंने आपको पहले ही बोला था कि फिफ्टीन इट शुड बी डेली वेजेस बी शुड बी इट शुड बी मैक्सिम मंथली फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज और बिलो इफ इट इज इंक्रीज इन एंड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज देन ही इज एक्चुअली नॉट एलिजिबल फॉर दिस क्राइटेरिया बिकॉज इट कम्स टू बी अ फिक्सड इनकम सो दिस आर द थ्री क्राइटेरिया विच आर अगेन सेंग फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया शुड बी ही शुड बी फ्रॉम अनऑर्गेनाइज वर्कर सेकेंड एंट्री एज शुड बी फ्रॉम बिटवीन एटीन टू फोर्टी ईयर्स Monthly income should be of rupees fifteen thousand or below. On who are not eligible in this, engaged in organized sectors such as member of EPFO, NPS, ES, ESIC. What is the full form of EPFO? EPFO means if someone doesn't know, then I'll say you the Employee Provident Fund Organization. Second is NPS that is connectively to National Pension Scheme. And third is ESIC that is Employee State Insurance Corporation. अगर आपने कहीं भी कभी भी ये चीज में applicable हुए हो, then you are not applicable for Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Mandan. So because you can't take the benefit of everything, there should be one limit and it is done. You don't have a bonus for everything. Second, he is not applicable if if he is paying income tax. अगर इफ ए बंदा इज पे इफ ए पर्सन इज पेइंग इनकम टैक्स मींस दैट मींस दैट ही हैव अ फिक्स्ड इनकम ही इज शोइंग टू द गवर्नमेंट सो दिस इज ओनली फॉर द पर्सन हु अर्न्स ऑन अ डेली वेजेस ही और शुड व्हाट इज द थिंग्स ही और शुड शुड कैरी पर्पसली ही शुड हैव आधार कार्ड सेविंग बैंक अकाउंट जनधन अकाउंट नंबर विद आईएफएसआई नाउ इफ समवन हु इज ऑफ अ लेबर एंड अनऑर्गेनाइज्ड सेक्टर्स या देयर आर पर्सन्स जिनके पास आधार कार्ड नहीं होता सो व्हाट शैल वी डू so we can't do because aadhar card is a mandatory is the identity of yourself so agar nahi hota to we are sorry because he is not entitled for this saving and bank account bhi hota hai which is a jan dhan account wo aage ja ke hoga features kya hai so what are the benefits features which you get you get a assured pension of rupees 3000 per month that is 36000 yearly which is affordable for the expenses of a um um Labor of a small social worker scheme persons. We should be voluntary and contribute to pension scheme. See, there is nothing forced in this uh, India and in this democratic country. So of course it is. You have to come voluntary. You have to contribute yourself, and then only you have to take and you will get, enjoy the benefits of it. Matching contribution by the government of India. So I'll explain you what is the matching contribution of the government of India. So is me kya hota hai? Uh, sir, can you just please go behind the slide? so in this matching contribution by the government of india if a person is of 18 years of old so if he is giving 55 rupees to the government then government will also give 55 rupees so it will be total 1110 rupees in his account so in which the person is paying 55 rupees the government is giving 55 rupees which will be 1110 if you will go if person is of 29 years of age then he have to pay 100 rupees 
So if a person is paying hundred rupees and government is paying hundred rupees as well, so total will come to two hundred rupees. I think so. This is the best benefit because what are you paying? The same amount is being paid by the government as well. So what you want more because the government is also supporting you to come down in this project and you have to invest yourself in which you are getting your returns as well. So this is the matching contribution by the government of India. So benefit. It is a beneficial. And what are the benefits of this? It is a beneficial in the way that a worker who joins Pradhan Mantri Shram Yogi Yojana at the age of eighteen years would make a contribution of rupees fifty five monthly till the age of sixty years. So as to get the pension in retirement, the equal pension contribution will be made by the government to the pension account of a worker each month. जैसे मैंने आपको बताया अगर मैंने एट एज इफ आई एम एटीन इयर्स तो अगर मैंने फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज डाला तो गवर्नमेंट भी मेरे अकाउंट में फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज डालेगी तो मेरे को वन टेन हो जाएगा अकाउंट में सो दैट वुड बी समथिंग ग्रेट बिकॉज वच आई एम पेइंग आई एम गेटिंग डबल ऑफ इट एज वेल दिस स्कीम इज गोइंग टू बी बेनिफिटेड मोर देन फोर्टी टू क्रोर्स वर्कर बिलोंगिंग टू द अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडिया एज वी सेट देर आर मेनी मेनी अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर्स इन विच फोर्टी टू क्रोर्स वर्कर विल ऑल्सो गेट एंड लेट मी टेल यू बिकॉज ऑफ द विजुअल ऑफ All the economics of India. It has been came to say it might become the world biggest pension scheme in the next five years. So hopefully, if everyone comes and invest in it, then it can be the uh, one of the biggest pension scheme in the next five years. Because even the government is helping you to take the initiative to come forward and invest in it. Not only this, if a candidate enroll out of the scheme even before ten years, the share of the can candidate is going to be returned to the candidate with saving bank interest accounts. Exactly, it's nothing. As I said, it there is nothing forced. So it is not that. I mean, one time fixed deposit. Get that a dal dia. So it is going to be fixed. It is not going to be fixed. It is your duty if you want. If it is, it is your choice. In short, if you want to remove it, then you can remove it. There is nothing that you only have to put till a fixed uh, date or fixed year, as you have told. So if you remove, if you uh, uh, take the scheme in ten years, then the share of candidate is going to be returned to the candidate with saving bank interest account. Well, if you want. यही पैसा बैंक में जमा करते तो भी आपको इंटरेस्ट मिलता फिक्स डिपॉजिट से तो उसी हिसाब से यहाँ पे भी अगर आप 10 साल पहले निकाल दोगे तो आपको से, सेविंग अकाउंट इंटरेस्ट मिलेगा इफ अ कैंडिडेट एनरोल्स आउट आफ्टर 10 इयर्स बट बिफोर 60 इयर्स ऑफ एज द शेयर ऑफ द कैंडिडेट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन एडिंग टू द अक्यूलोमेट इंटरेस्ट विल बी गिवेन बैक टू द कैंडिडेट मतलब इफ आई एम पुटिंग माई मनी फॉर टेन ईयर्स मोर देन टेन ईयर्स बट जब तक वो uh, एक्चुअली हो गया प्रॉपर सिक्सटी ईयर्स के पहले मैंने निकाल दिया देन आई थिंक सो कि उसका मुझे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन मिलेगा तो एक्यूरेट इंटरेस्ट विल बी गिवन बैक टू द कैंडिडेट सो वही इंटरेस्ट मुझे वापस मिलेगा जितना इंटरेस्ट प्रॉपर होगा इफ द कैंडिडेट इज अपडेटिंग द स्कीम इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर बट डाइज ड्यू टू एनी कॉज एक्स वाई जेड रीजन हिज और हर स्पाउस विड बी एंटाइटल विद हिज और हर स्पाउस विड बी एंटाइटल विद द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ द स्कीम मतलब इसमें क्या होता है इफ अ पर्सन डाइज इफ अ सब्सक्राइबर डाइज एंड द मनी इज बिन ऑलमोस्ट ट्रांसफर टू द स्पाउस एज आई सेड बिफोर लियर ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट कांस गो टू द चिल्ड्रन और द लीगर हायर्स सो इफ द स्पाउस इज अफोर्डेबल एंड इफ शी वांट्स टू कंटिन्यू देन यस शी कैन कंटिन्यू विद द सेम स्कीम इन इट बट इफ द स्पाउस इज एंटाइटल टू डू इट दे आर सपोज्ड टू मेक अ रेगुलर पेमेंट टू इट जैसे द पर्सन हिज और हर हैव इन्वेस्टेड टिल डेट आई मीन दे हैव टू इन्वेस्ट इट टिल डेट But if they are not willing to do it, then if they are not willing to do it, then they can always exit the scheme, taking the candidate's contribution to make till the date the addition to the interest. So if they are not willing to do it, they can of course there is no force on it, so they can exit the scheme, taking the candidate's so how many contribution the subscriber have contributed till date with the addition to the interest on it. Benefits to the family on death of a, a eligible subscriber. so if a person is eligible subscriber and with x y z reason he uh, his he his death so during the receipt of pension if an eligible subscriber dies his spouse should be and only entitled to receive 50% of the pension received by such eligible subscriber as a family pension and such family pension shall be applicable only to the spouse so as i said if she is not willing she wants to exit then yes she can exit but only she will get 50% of such family pension which will be applicable only to the spouse so this is one of the benefits so even though you have uh, invested at the age of at the younger age so it is going to be get in a benefits with you as well as your family also so it is not only applicable to the you so it is even applicable to your family so when your family is secured one or the other way 
if the subscriber is disabled so benefits of disablement if any eligible subscriber have been given regular contribution and become permanently disabled due to any cause before attending his age of 60 years and is unable to continue to contribute under this scheme his spouse shall be entitled to continue with the scheme subsequently by payment of regular contribution as applicable or exit the scheme by receiving the share of contribution deposit by such subscriber abhi abhi hum dekhte hai jab buildings banti hai so all these people who the workers who actually investing so much to make the building proper not by the wealth way but by the health way so in some of the other way if something happens god forbid and they become permanently disabled so in which they can't go to the work again so in which in ki wife ya unke spouse or husband they can actually continue to contribute in the same scheme but if they are not willing to do that then yes they are uh, they have the opportunity to exit from the scheme and there is no problem in this because the, uh, the amount which they have contributed they are going to get the amount as well so this is even though you are disabled by some or the other way because they their life is almost a risk life and something happens or no it doesn't matter so this is the reason that if though you are disabled also then you are going to help your family in one or the other way so this is one of the benefits of disablement as well so we couldn't say a benefit of disablement but yes if you become a disablement then you don't have to be dependent on anyone else as well for your medicine or anything for the expenses which you do so as an interest as actually on means they can interest with the saving bank interest which they will get or whichever is a higher benefits on leaving the pension scheme see it there is no force as i said before also i'm saying again and again i can understand i'm saying again and again that there is actually no force in leaving also say so even though in some some schemes what happen if we are leaving then we know something is going to be deducted some or the other way which is going to have a loss in our itself only so in this there are some of the benefits in leaving as well so in case a eligible subscriber exit the scheme within a period of less than which i already said you before also then 10 years from date of joining the scheme by him then the share of contribution by him only be refunded at uh, <coughs> refunded to him with saving bank interest of uh, interest payable there on so if he is leaving before 10 years also he is going to get his money with interest so i think even so this if you invest in as i said if you invested in bank also it doesn't matter if you invest in this also you are going to get the return as well so please can you change this slide if an eligible subscriber exit after completion of a period of 10 years or more the date of joining the scheme by him but before his age of 60 years then his shares of contribution only be returned to him along with accumulate interest thereon and actual owned by the pension fund or the interest at the saving bank uh, saving bank interest thereon whichever is higher i have explained you this before also which we came that agar wo 10 saal baad bhi karta hai to unko accumulate interest or whichever higher in uh, actual interest jo bhi interest zyada hoga wo unko milega if a eligible sir, subscriber has given regular contribution and died due to any by paying of regular contribution as applicable or exit by receiving the share of contribution paid by such subscriber along with accumulate interest or actually earned thereon by the pension fund at the saving account there on whichever is higher this i have already uh, said you before also maybe this is the second time which i have written down maybe it will be as important so this is the second time i have uh, noted down and i have explained you as well after the death of the subscriber and his or her spouse the corpus shall be credited back to the fund agar the subscriber who khud unki death ho gayi aur unki spouse ki bhi death ho gayi then yes the money would uh, go will be credited in the government account only so what is the enrollment purpose so agar isme agar kisi ko bhi enroll karna hai to how can he go and how can he enroll himself so there is the thing in which this schemes offer eligible citizen a regular pension once they attain the age of 60 years pradhan mantri shram yogi yojana is a pension scheme for the labor class people who are associated with the organized sector even i have dictated so many times that even you came to know now this is for the unorganized sectors only can come down for the enrollment purposes no one can come again from no other person can come down from the enrollment purposes so we'll go to the enrollment process is one by one enrollment process interested eligible person shall visit near csc center that is jan dhan yogna that is also called as community service centers which is the 
लिंक इज बिन गिवेन इन बैक लाइन सो वंस यूल गो इट आपका जो नियर बाय होगा सर्विस सेंटर वो आपको क्लिक पता चल जाएगा The location of a CSC center can be assigned from the information page on website of LIC of India, Ministry of Labour and Employment, and CSC as well. मैंने पीछे भी डाला है, last page पे भी उनका website दिया है. अगर आपको नहीं पता चलता है, तो आप LIC of India, Ministry of Labour के website से भी उनको आप contact कर सकते हो. So what is the second point? While going to CSC for enrolment, he shall carry. With him the following: first thing, mandatory it is Aadhar card. Second thing, bank account details along with IFIS code. So now, as uh, Modi ne bola hai ki you know it should be a cashless India. So most of the people would be having a bank account. How connectively should they should have, uh, take along with them with the passbook or checkbook or anything which it is evidence that they have a bank account on it. One thing they should have carried yes a mobile phone. The mobile phones are not that. Uh, expensive that even uh, unorganized sectors cannot afford it. Then yes, they have to connect a mobile handset for OTP verification. So I'm, uh, we are not saying that it should be actually an Android phone or an iOS phone. Yeah, only the phone which connect the OTP verification should come. The initial contribution amount for enrollment under the scheme. So if, I mean, if a person is for 18 years old. तो उसको वहां पे 55 रुपीस अगर इनिशियली जितना अमाउंट देना होता है जैसे हम बैंक में भी इनिशियल अमाउंट देते हैं तो उस हिसाब से उनको भी जो इनिशियल अमाउंट देना है ये चार चीजें लेके जानी पड़ती है पहली चीज है आधार कार्ड सेकंड चीज है एनी एविडेंस ऑफ दैट यू हैव अ बैंक अकाउंट थर्ड थिंग इज दैट योर मोबाइल हैंडसेट जिसमें आपको ओटीपी मिलेगा एंड फोर्थ थिंग वुड बी द इनिशियल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन जो आप जाके वहां पे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट करोगे Now, what is another process? Village level entrepreneur present at the CSE will tick the key in Aadhaar number, name of the subscriber as printed on Aadhaar card, and date of birth as given in Aadhaar card, and the same will be verified with UDAI database through the process of demographic authorization. Now, this is the reason I said that the Aadhaar card is as important because जो आपका नाम Aadhaar card पे जो mention किया होगा वही नाम वो वो लोग वहाँ सी एस सी में प्रेजेंट करेंगे और वहां पे वो लोग सब्सक्राइबर का वही सेम नेम एंड द डेट ऑफ बर्थ वुड बी गिवन एज पर दैट ओनली तो वो जो फर्दर डिटेल्स लाइक बैंक अकाउंट मोबाइल नंबर ईमेल मतलब दिस इज अ फॉर्म दिस इज नॉर्मली वेर वी गो वी हैव टू फिल अप अ फॉर्म So this is the same form. The name would be given in the same way. The mobile numbers, your bank details. If you have, in case of email ID, your email ID, your uh, your spouse name, the nominee which you actually take care. मेरे जगह पे this is my spouse or this is my nominee. Almost a uh, spouse will only be the nominee. Self certification for eligibility condition will be done. So of course, I showed you the eligibility. What are the all the eligibility criteria that he should be in the age of eighteen to forty years? He should be between the age of eighteen to forty years. He should be from the unorganized, uh, um, unorganized sectors. So these are all the criteria which they have to be self certified. They have to take the certification and go as well. System will auto calculate monthly contribution payable according to the age of the subscriber. अभी ऐसा I I said eighteen to forty years. अभी now the person is of thirty years old. तो अगर उसका contribution the thirty से sixty कितना होगा? तो monthly if he'll pay hundred rupees, it will be fine. So government will pay hundred rupees. तो ये अपने आप the automatically ये calculate हो जाएगा. And this will be calculated by the system only. So you don't have to say. And as your Aadhaar card is a proof that what is the age. As as per your birth of date, the subscriber shall also pay the amount of initial contribution under the scheme to the VLC, who will generate receipt to hand it over the subscriber. At the same time, a unique SYM number will be generated and SYM card will be printed as CSC. Enrollment form come auto uh, auto debit mandate will be also be printed with which will then be signed by the subscriber. W uh, VLE shall. Uh, also scan the signed enrollment come auto debit mandated and upload to the system jaise normally hum bank mein jaate hain on all the details humko agar bank mein naya account kholna hai to what all details we go through this is the similar details only we have we will go will uh, hum log initiative lenge will give the money that this is my initial contribution to uske wajah se they will give a uh, unique numbers jo hamare jo hamare mobile mein aayega jo hamare mobile mein aayega wo number jab hum denge so they will write in their system that this is the number and which will a uh, auto debit mandated card which will be printed 
एंड वो ऑटोमेंडेड कार्ड हमारे पास ही रहेगा इट वोट बी विद गवर्नमेंट इट वुड बी विद अस दैट वी आर द ऑथराइज पर्सन फॉर दिस एनरोलमेंट एंड दिस नंबर With completion of process, subscriber will be having with him SYM card and signed copy of enrollment form for his record. जैसे मैंने आपको बोला, for his record he will have SYM card and signed copy of enrollment form that yes, you are eligible and you are authorized for this respective thing. So this is the जहाँ पे उनका process start हो जाता है. And daily they there would be monthly the uh, amount which is calculated वो उनके account से deduct होते जाता है. अगर later आप देखो कि facility will be provided. Whether subscriber can also visit the PMSYM web portal or can also download the mobile app or self register using Aadhaar card, saving bank account or Jangan account on a self certification basis. मतलब वो अपने मोबाइल से भी ना everyone has a mobile, so अपने मोबाइल से भी वो डाउनलोड करके खुद या फिर वो खुद वेब साइट पे जाके खुद चेक करके even they can do it personally also. It doesn't need that someone has to come down and teach them or someone guidance should be there. It is the things are being very clearly given in the website also, so it's very easy for everyone to go through it. Now I'll give you the premium account chart. As I said, you come say from when I'm saying you 18 to 40 years, 18 to 40 years. So how will you calculate? Because you are not getting the idea of it right now. So I'll explain you. See, if a person is of 18 years, the actual maximum year he can invest is till 60. After sixty, as I said, you you will get a bonus of you uh, premium of rupees three thousand in your account. So, a person is of eighteen years and he has to pay a minimum monthly contribution of rupees fifty five, and government will also contribute like a match matching fifty five rupees. So, his total contribution per person will be one ten rupees. So, it does as I said in the match uh, uh, match contribution also that. If अगर आप फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज पे कर रहे हो तो गवर्नमेंट भी फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज पे करेगा सो इट्स वेरी मच बोनस फॉर यू टू गेट अ डबल अमाउंट ऑफ अ टोटल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रुपीज वन वन टेन अमाउंट डाउन ऑल देंडिंग ऑर्डर ऑल द नंबर एज पर दज वाइज सो इफ अ पर्सन इज कंफ्यूज दैट आई एम ऑफ अर ट्वेंटी वन ईयर्स एज तो हाउ मच आई एम सपोज टू पे मंथली देन इट इट इज वेरी मच Visualizely given that it should be of sixty-four rupees, then the government will pay sixty-four rupees. Then it should be totally of one twenty-eight rupees. So, as a the total chart is given from age of eighteen till age of forty. Then how much amount you are supposed to pay to the uh, uh, monthly contribution? How much uh, government will pay? The amount if you'll pay one rupees, then government will pay one rupees only. If you'll pay three rupees, the government will pay three rupees only. So this is the amount which is going as per the age wise from age eighteen till age forty. Uh, sir, can you just please change the slide? So this is the another age of uh, another numbers of age from twenty four to thirty one. So if a person is of as I said thirty age, then he will be a uh, maximum age till he have to give is sixty. So monthly contribution of will be rupees of one zero five. मैंने one zero five rupees डाला. Then government be one zero five rupees मेरे account पे डालेगी. So my total account would be of total amount in my account would be two ten. This would be a monthly uh, account, and it would be deducted from your debit card from your debit uh, from the account only bank account. So uh, the number which you have already given. So they won't call you again and again that uh, you have to pay this amount. Uh, your amount has been uh, due. You have to do this. No. They will give from the. They will do from the account only. Yes, in case of anything bounce, then of course it is going to be your outstanding dues. So person can pay their outstanding dues later also together with the penalty also. So if you actually you are getting the benefits of it and with some or the other way, apka wo outstanding dues ho gaya because apka bounce ho gaya ke bank me itne nahi the at that time. So you can pay him all the all outstanding dues together with some penalties, and penalties won't be that higher. That with it won't it will pinch the person's pocket. So this is the another age that would be this is the last age that thirty two to forty. See if a person is of forty years, so unka retirement sixty may ho jayega. So he have to pay monthly two hundred rupees. Yes. वो अ पर्सन इज ऑफ एटीन ईयर्स ही स्टार्टेड इन्वेस्टिंग इन एटीन सो दैट इज द रीजन कि उसको फिफ्टी फाइव रुपीज देना पड़ा इफ द पर्सन इज ऑफ फोर्टी ईयर्स इन्वेस्टेड लेट बट इट्स ओके यू हैव टू पे ओनली टू हंड्रेड रुपीज एंड टू हंड्रेड रुपीज वुड बी पेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट एज वेल सो द टोटल कंट्रीब्यूशन अमाउंट वुड बी ऑफ फोर्टीन फोर हंड्रेड रुपीज सो द सब्सक्राइबर कंडीशन टू पी एम सी शाल बी मेड थ्रू ऑटो डेबिट फैसिलिटीज फ्रॉम हिज और हर सेविंग बैंक अकाउंट और जो जान धन अकाउंट विच यू हैव पेड 
the subscriber is required to contribute this prescribed con uh, con uh, contribution amount from the age of joining till the date of 60 the way i said you so now this is the things in which enrollment by states that as india has so many states so it has been bifurcated now if you'll see down then there is a pink color box which indicates uh pradhan mantri shram yojana uh mandan which is which i am saying the pension scheme the blue one is Pradhan Mantri Kishan uh, Mandhan Yojana and the green one is Pradhan Mantri Matru Vadan Yojana. So this is the blue one is for the Kisan and the green one is for the pregnant person who uh, who are actually from the unorganized sectors and they need the benefit from the government at the time of their pregnancy. So if you'll see the green one, then you will see that even it is not even a year and it is spread so much that everyone is so aware of it that they are taking the full use of this benefit. And you can, as per with the help of this uh, graph, you will have an idea that pink one, there are many states who have already taken the advantage of it and they have already started investing for their better future. Um, so please, can I just change the slide? Uh, Vishal, sir, please can you um, As I said, the more matching contribution by the central government, I'll read this for you. BMSYM is a voluntary and contributory pension scheme on a 50 50 basis where prescribed age specified contribution shall be made by the beneficiary and the matching contribution by the central government as per the chart. For example, if a person enters the scheme at the age of 29, he is required to contribute 100 rupees. Just when I have chart the chart, just there were ages from 18 to 40, it, it would be have given you a brief analysis that if a person is investing 100 rupees per month, then the government will also uh, pay 100 rupees till the age of 60. That would be equal amount. So it would be total 200 rupees. So for the example, if a person enters the scheme at the uh, age of 29, he is required to contribute rupees 100 per month till the age of 60. Okay, who is eligible for PMSYM scheme, pension scheme? As the labor class is mentioned, people involved in the trivial yet necessary work shall as carpenters, manus and many more such workers appears in our mind. In reality, any worker belonging to the unorganized sectors can apply for this scheme. But unorganized sectors which once mean the community in which the wages are not fixed. I've already said you in advance before only is the time of starting of the meeting. That the person who doesn't have the fixed income comes down on the unorganized sectors. So this other person who are eligible for this uh, Pradhan Mantri Sham Yogi Mandan scheme. In the reality, any worker belonging to unorganized sectors can apply for this scheme. But unorganized sectors once means a community in which the wages are not fixed. Such sectors include street vendors, rack pickers, cobblers, brick makers, uh, leather workers, rickshaw pullers, landlord, uh, landless laborers, BD workers and many more. So this all persons who are actually working on a daily to daily wages are, uh, and, uh, are enrolled and eligible for this pension scheme. Uh, so can I just change? Yeah. The workers who do not have any fixed income and whose income depend on the work they do on the daily basis to earn a living are eligible to apply for Pradhan Mantri Sham Yogi Yojana, which is the same, which is the thing which I said, who doesn't work, uh, who, uh, who doesn't get a fixed income and on a work on a daily basis. The worker of an unorganized uh, sectors earning a less than rupees 50,000 per month and falls under the age bracket of 18 to 40 years are en eligible for Pradhan Mantri Yojana scheme. So which I said, you know, if a person is of 41 years, then is, of course he is not eligible for it. So it should, should be person from 18 to 40 years and it, uh, his monthly income should be less than 15,000 rupees. So please can I just change this slide? Who is not eligible, as I said before, also the following individual are not eligible. One who pays the tax, income tax, because if he pays the income tax, then of course he's showing his income, the monthly income, yearly income, and that is not, he's not uh, capable or eligible for this thing. One who is engaged in the different organization sectors, which I've already explained. See, how to apply or register for Pradhan Mantri Yojana? So uh, there are some steps. Everything should be in the stepwise, right? This is the step one. If someone wants to invest, then he should be interested entitled person shall visit the nearest CSE center. Just a minute, there are various centers 
and there are various facilities ki if a person stays in navi mumbai he doesn't have to come down to uh, kandivli or if a person is staying to panvel he doesn't have to come down to andheri there are limited sectors facilities a lot of facilities yet he can go to his nearby um, csc centers so second thing second step is following up the uh, prerequisite for the enrollment process first thing as even everyone knows now aadhar card janthan yogna that is a saving bank account or a passbook or a check uh so please can i just change it the any evidence of your check third should be the initial uh, initial contribution which you want to pay for the account fourth thing should the evidence will be a key in the aadhar card number name of the subscriber and the date as present in aadhar card for authorized uh, authentications this time i have said you before also pehle bhi bola tha Okay, it should be on the line wise. This the process which I showed you, the enrollment process. This is as per the step wise. If someone wouldn't get that as well, so this is as per the step wise. To everyone will get a great idea how to go step by step. So please, can I just change the slide? Step five: the VLE will complete the online registration by filling up the details like bank details, amount, mobile number, email, spouse, nominee. the self say uh, step 6 is self certification for eligibility condition will be done step 7 will be system will auto calculate monthly contribution pay payable according to the age of the subscriber which i have already explained you before uh, so step 8 step 8 is subscriber will pay the first uh, subscription amount in the cash to the vlc yes he shouldn't uh, as the initial amount would be the sub first subscription amount so he can't say that please deduct it from my bank account no the first thing which the initial amount he have to pay is through the cash only step 9 is enrollment come auto debit mandate form will be printed and will be further signed by the subscriber vl uh, will scan the same and upload it to the system so that would be that this is now uploaded in the system and it would be like a Thing that it can be get, uh, it would be a registered uh, thing. Step ten, a unique uh, Shram Yogi pension account number swamp will be generated and Shram Yogi card will be printed. So as we get a debit card from the bank account, they will get a, a SPA and card that would be which will be printed to them as per their record. So this is a process glance which I have already explained you that how will they go. So this is as per the verification and proper uh, graphic. beneficiary with csc will mandatory information the second thing is csc will enroll beneficiary third thing is install uh, installments get auto calculate on the basis of age fourth thing is first installment will be deducted through csc wallet and subscriber pays in cash first uh, successful payment and online sham yogi pension number will be generated sixth would be acknowledgement come debit mandate will be generated for beneficiary signature then it will be csc will scan and upload the signed debit mandate of beneficiary then it will be csc will print and hand over the scan uh, shram yogi card to beneficiary after confirmation from bank mandate deb will be uh, activated along with sms communication to beneficiary that yes you are now registered in it so when you pay a uh, 55 rupees and when the person when the when you pay 55 rupees and when the government pay 55 rupees then yes you received a message that 1110 rupees is been debited in your account right now this scheme will be launched particularly for the assessment of work of unorganized sector in the country this is a golden opportunity for all the workers of unorganized sector to secure their lives and think for the better and for brighter future for their family as well as for themselves also to avail this opportunity eligible person can register themselves under this scheme through online modes which i have already explained you ahead eligible people can also apply to the step by step jo maine aapko pehle abhi ek slide pehle aapko dikhaya ki how to go step by step the procedure which i have already mentioned below all the eligibility workers must have their bank details and aadhar card with them after confirmation that the candidates need, needs to visit his or her uh, nearest common service center or csc keeping along the necessary documents that could be further used for verification the documents which i have already said the aadhar card the bank details the initial amount which they want to pay the appoint, appointed officer in the nearest csc is 
we're going to put together all the information and details given by the candidates. The candidates are expected to register his or her actual date of birth because the overall calculation is going to be already on the basis of their age. As per the Aadhaar card is the one thing which is the uh, proper register thing. So he will go as per the Aadhaar card's the date of birth only. The determination of how much premium he or she has to pay in all department on the actual age that the candidate confirms with. After having verified all the documents, the scheme will get started. To get started with it, a specific installment amount is going to be deducted from the wallet of an appointed officer in the common service center. After having a successful payment, the officer will get back all the amount that he has been deducted for the office wallet by the candidate that to in cash amount. Now what happens is this, once the documents is ver verified, everything is then verified, just as I told you, as per their age, their se, system, their se, money will be deducted. So for the testing, the officer who is appointed over there, their uh, 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 account will be deducted from their account. The money will be deducted from his account and after which once it, it has been properly rechecked and it has been uh, assured, then the amount will be given to the officer by check. It won't be again credited to his account. It will be given by the check. The candidate must check for the notification of successful online payment. If the notification arrives that the registration has been successfully done, a unique uh, pension code is also generated from the software. So uh, everyone knows if it has been assured, it is if it is uh, uh, done properly, then every you will get a unique pension code in this generated from the software. So you have to yes, you have to see the notification. If you can't, if you don't get the notification, then you have to again uh, go to CSC centers and you have to verify with them if there is anything procedure or the documents which are still left because the procedure is not yet completed. As the normal government office, we do, and if you don't get of our procedure doesn't get completed then we don't get the respective things which we wanted. So yes, you have to check with the, and this is the example ke haan, aapka ho gaya. Now you are, you are a, you will get a unique pension code is also generated. After this process, CSE officer is going to do the other formalities and scan, so, and scan candidates documents. The office scans the document to ensure that the information is added to their database as well. So yes, everyone wants to get their database. Proper information is also uh, been uh, entered in their database that there would be no problem and you are a registered candidate. So not today, tomorrow or they are the future that you are a registered and there is nothing that the procedure is still left. After scanning the documents, the candidate is provided a pension card that is generated after the verification of the candidate's document and other data. The data provided by the candidate is then sent to the bank authority. After having checked the data, the bank authority, the candidate is informed about the mandate debts. An SMS is also sent to the register number of candidate after which the candidate would be getting pretend information. Now, once the document is uh, verified and it is approved by the CSE centers, then it is goes to the bank. So bank in this it uh, gives the idea to the subscriber ki aapka monthly example 110 rupees deduct ho ra. So they will give an idea about it and yes it will the message will also come that your uh, 110 rupees has been credited to your account of Dan your Jan Dan account uh, which is which you have connected with the government okay. of India. Yeah, yeah. That is enough. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.